Hey everyone, it's Norman from Alpha Speed here. I'm gonna make a small video, it's gonna be pretty quick, that I'm gonna tell you the basics to set up your plug and play Alpha ECU for your Hyundai Genesis 2.0. It could be BK1 or BK2, it works with both. So, uh, the first thing you need to do is go here to controller and then go to popular vehicles and choose if you have a BK1 or a BK2. You can choose either one, you choose it and the ECU is going to ask for a restart. Uh, you can either disconnect the USB cable from your laptop and turn off the key, then plug those back in and it'll be restarted. Or you can go against controller, bench test, and reset ECU. And if you wait a few, a few seconds, it'll reset and you'll be connected to the base map that's set up on the Alpha ECU. Uh, after you do that, you need to go to base engine, Go to outputs and configure your fans. The fans don't get configured automatically, so just you could copy these settings right here. Set your fan relay low to fan relay low, uh, output modes default, and all these settings here. You should enable it with AC too, so you should set this to true. True, set this to true, and set your fan relay high. Make sure all of that's set up so your fans turn on correctly with the temperatures that you want. These are the ones I use normally, but you can use other temperatures if you'd rather have them turn on earlier or later. Uh, and then you go here to fuel. You write your injector size. Uh, if you don't have the exact data, try to write a size that's a bit smaller than your real injector because if you have too much fuel, it'll run. If you don't have enough fuel, it won't run. If you have a BK1, you have about 350 cc injectors. If you have a BK2, you have about 600 cc injectors. So you should write one of those here, or if you have good data and you know the pressure that the data was made at, it's usually about 300 kilopascals, which is 43 psi if I'm not wrong. And uh, write it in your dead times here, battery voltage versus dead time. And you have your injector set up that way. And then go to, again to base engine, you're going to go to trigger. Your trigger angle should be 115, and these are the offsets for the for the cams. Uh, if your car is pushed to start or is another market, sometimes this changes by 360 degrees. So you need to write 475 here, and then add 360 degrees, subtract 360 from this, add 360 to this, and it should all line up and your car should run just fine. Hit burn after you do that and that's set up. And another recommendation I'd say is go to limits and fallbacks and set your RPM limit to about, uh, I mean your, uh, and set your boost cut pressure to about 200 kilopascals, uh, maybe a bit less, 180. Uh, so you don't over boost while you're running on the base tune. Remember that this is a base tune for a base car. So make sure that all of that's set up. All the other things should be handled by your tuner, but these things should at least get the car running and not overheating. So, oh, after that, the final thing you need to do is go to sensors and check your map sensor. If you have a BK1, you're gonna have a Bosch 2.5 bar map sensor. You have a BK2, you can use a calibration for a GM3 bar because they use the same calibration. Or if you have one of the four bar sensors that is around, you can use a, this calibration MPXH 6400 6, and that's for four bar. So make sure that your map's set up correctly, your injectors, your fans, and your trigger angle. And as long as you have those things set up, your car should just fire up and run. And then you drive it to your tuner and get it tuned. So that's all for today. Thank, uh, thank you guys for the support. And if you have any more questions, let us know. We're, we're here to help. See ya.